What's going on, guys? We have a special edition today for you guys. Again, we want to buy contract with this, with this stocks over here. And again, it was brought to my attention that we might have, uh, you know, some movement on this one. We been having a nice chart record as far as you know this, you know, our special edition so far been performing so far. So I think that we are on the right track here. Now, actually, I've been reviewing this setup, and it seems that we are ready to make some move, right? So the ticker name is ATNM, which is Actinium Pharmaceuticals. So one more time is ATNM. That is a ticker name. And this one is, I'm going to see why I'm actually like, I traded on the past. I mean, I really, this one is being performing absolutely crazy, right? When I actually traded this in, in the past, I traded when it was like around five, going all the way to like eight. That was my trade. And since then, I haven't really touched it because, you know, it was trading on a range. And again, that was distracted on different things. But now, man, it really got my attention because they report the data on Friday, right? And basically, I went back and looked back and I was, look, where is it sitting right now? Is it going to move? We might have another move. But well, let me see why. And I believe that we could have a move. So right now, it's sitting at $790. Uh, it's a 29 million foot stop. It has a 232.91 million market cap, which, you know, tells me that it could be, a, it could be very undervalued as the current it is, right? But obviously, you know, these pharmaceutical companies, they do need extra, like, extra super volume to move and then this one is being moving on low volume but even though i mean it's been having a very big swing prices right you see it's been going from six all the way to like tens making you know higher highs which also you know it's a bullish continuation or you know bullish signal we can see on the daily chart even though we are trending below the emas we are near support and we're near the 200 million, right so that can kind of like tell me we might have a potential bounce you know this is what i actually draw out right as you can see here we are being on an uptrend channel basically so we're back to that bottom range of the channel, which tells me there is two channels, there is two scenarios. Either we bounce, breaking out, you know, the EMAs and obviously, you know, shooting up for near highs, or we don't break out, we continue the downtrend, and we go back to Tesla 200 minutes, right, which is sitting at 731. So if that happens, then obviously, you know, it's not the best scenario, of course, but based on what's happening, in my opinion, this is what we could happen. So also looking at the four hour chart, we can see that we have this. Uh, you know, the sending uh, triangle here that obviously is getting tight. You know, if a breakout happens, it breaks out of the triangle to the upside, and obviously that can break a little momentum, you know, some volume as well. That is always, you know, good to to note. Looking on the database, they do have 75.75 million cash. If they have 31.63 months per cash, and they're 5.5% owned by insiders. So obviously they do have enough cash, so they don't need to make an, any offering, in my opinion. I don't think they have to break into the table. And this is what I'm talking about, right? They present, they have this oral presentation improving, and that was it presenting this, you know, one of the drugs. What I really like about this one is, you know, they, you can see right here the results, long-term efficacy results on the patients with active, the labs that are fractally active leukemia. Leukemia is a baby, uh, you guys know, one of those bad, bad diseases that is really hard to find, you know, cures for it. And, and the fact that they're actually working on this and they have, you know, they're really presenting this good data for it. I think it's been a really attract, you know, a lot of buyers who potentially a lot of, you know, money flow into this. So looking at the bigger time frames, looking at that weekly chart as well. See, last time in the past, it ended up going to $15 when it broke down. So if we are at that range and we actually do have the breakout, then I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, looking back onto previous news, I mean, even... They've been having a huge, huge price. So they got a $50 target uh, not too long ago, last month. So they're telling me that they do have a lot of, you know, uh, confidence on this stock in particular, you know, even like big institutions. So based on the data and also what I can tell, you know, it's been high, it's been so kind of technically they can sell like based on the short interest that you see has been decreasing. So that can tell me like slowly, slowly, you know, shorts are covered. They're trying to get out. I mean, it's 28.73 owned by institutions as well. So that tells me like it, it may might be moving a lot. Again, several analysts are having like 25, 50, you know, target. Remember, this these biotech companies, they do take time to develop. Some of them again could take longer than all was. This is the monthly chart. And you see how it's, how even based on the monthly chart, you do have bars uh, increasing like little or little, right? So that tells me that by month. We could even have move. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to see, you know, tap and retest in the $12 on, on the coming weeks, even months, right? But again, this is the bigger outlook, of course. But tomorrow, I think that what I'm mainly going to be looking at is if we do have a move because of the data, 
I will mainly going to be looking if we reclaim the trend, right? What that means is that we need to break uh, at least the, you know, the 804, which is going to be the 20 MA, 802. That happens, we might move to 821, which is at the 200 MA and the 60. So we break in those two trend lines, then we're going to open up, right? I mean, that happens, we break 821 as well. We can see probably a 60s, a 70s, right? Looking at the daily chart, we got, you know, good decent amount of upside if that happens, right? Resistance is sitting all the way up to 8.86. So that's come up, that's almost a dollar move if that a breakout actually happens. So we're just gonna keep an eye on this one, guys, if it happens. And again, I'm, I'm gonna be guiding through the chat, you know, through the alpha community, every step what we do, right? Throughout the day, if we have any update, if we have any news, if we have any balance, breakout, everything's gonna be updated to the community. So again, if you wanna be part of it, sign up, link is gonna be in the description, guys. So we're gonna be part of the team. But other than that, guys, have a great day, guys. I mean, the market, it's gonna get crazy this week, knowing that we have a short week but we are not staying behind. We are taking every single opportunity. All right, so be safe. Now take care, and I'll see you guys on the chat. Bye, guys.